Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And first of all, thank you very much. We're almost at 250,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll hit that number soon. Just want to thank you guys, let you know I do really appreciate all your support, your comments, your thumbs up. They do really mean a lot to me. So I want to talk about Google Now on Tap. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a feature in the Android operating system that was specifically brought in Android 6.0 Marshmallow. I guess this video can also be seen as a reminder that you have Google Now on Tap because I always seem to forget that it's there and forget that I can use it. It also seems like Google Now on Tap is more of a second thought as opposed to something that's in the forefront of the operating system. With that being said, I want to go ahead and show off some features of Google Now on Tap and also some ways you can implement it in your smartphone usage. So I've got my HTC 10 right here, which is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And here is one of the main reasons that I say it seems like it's a second thought. When you enable Now on Tap for the first time, to enable it, all you do is press and hold the home button. You press it and it says you found Now on Tap as if you need to actually find it because it's so hidden in the operating system. And then you hit yes, I'm in. Then all you do is press and hold the home button um, and it's gonna go ahead and contextually read the screen and let you know if there's anything on tap. Now there's a couple new features in Google Now on tap that they're just rolling out now. One of them being that it can read photos that you take. So you take a picture, for example, here's the Sears Tower. I'm gonna to press and hold that home button. It's gonna read the picture, what it is, and it realizes, oh, it's Willis Tower. Obviously, if you ask anyone from Chicago, they'll call it the Sears Tower, but you'll see very cool that it shows Willis Tower just from the picture itself, absolutely no text. Now, here's an email that I got about playing some pickup basketball, for example. I'm gonna press and hold that home button, and you'll notice it takes a lot from it and a lot of various different things that you get. One of them being the main one that I really like is create calendar event. It reads when it is, what time, where it is, and it does it all for you. So that's one of the main th main times to use it is if someone's saying dinner at X time or playing basketball at X time. Now, for example, let's say you want to focus on one specific thing, such as the North and Clybourne red line stop. Um, you can select text to begin with right there, or what you can do is press and hold the home button and then you can go ahead and press this little uh, finger pointing right there, and it's going to allow you to select any specific text on the screen. So if you go ahead and tap on one of them, it's gonna say red line. Then you can go ahead and maybe expand it a little bit, so Clyborn red line, and there you go. So it's gonna bring up anything that you specifically select, and like I mentioned before, um, you can select it previously, or you can just do it like the way I just mentioned. You can also use the camera viewfinder to use Google Now on Tap, so check this out. So it's uh, this pack of gums right there. Press and hold that home button. And there it is, extra gum. It read what my camera viewfinder was looking at and gave me uh, some contextual information about extra gum. Something else interesting to make note of is that in some specific apps, it bypasses the notification of screenshots. So for example, if you get a Snapchat and you're viewing it, you can press and hold that home button. And follow me on Snapchat, by the way, if you're interested. And then what you can do is you press the share button. It's going to take a screenshot of whatever is on the screen so that you can share it. However, in some apps, it doesn't notify the other person that you actually took that screenshot. Another way I like to use Google Now and Tap Now is with sports. And you'll see specifically, it gives you the score of the Cubs game when you actually go ahead and do a Google Now and Tap while looking at it. And But you can go into more in-depth in terms of the box score can show up. So you can open it with Chrome. I'm just going to hit just once. And it's going to actually load up that entire box score straight from there. So I don't have to go into Google, search Chicago Cubs box score. I can just go ahead and find Cubs and press and hold the home button. And then it jumps right into it. Me, myself, obviously being a Cubs fan, this is a nice feature for me. Another great way to use Google Now and Taps when you listen to music. Here is Pandora loaded up, listening to Carry Me by Kygo. For example, if I don't know who Julia Michaels is, I'm going to press and hold that home button. It's going to go ahead and read the screen, show you Kygo. Here's the song you can go to on YouTube and watch the video. Here's Cloud9, their album. And here's Julia Michaels. So here's information about her, where if I want to go see her Instagram, her YouTube to look up more music, maybe go to her Twitter, go over and follow her. Just lots of various options when listening to music. I do it with sports movies as well that's another big one it'll actually give you movie times so just overall there's a lot more that you can actually do with google now on tap if you remember it's there so that's the key right there just remember google now on tap is there and you can start utilizing it more and more hopefully this video helped you out if you if it did give it a thumbs up hopefully you subscribe to me as well i'd really appreciate it you can follow me on facebook twitter google plus all links in the description below as always guys thank you very much for watching